Hello, welcome to another Somerset Rail Hour review. Um, I've got a beer here um, from a Scottish brewery, Harveston Brewery. It's their Bitter and Twisted. Um, it says blonde beer on there. Now, <coughs> blonde beer, it, it, blonde beers are not my favourite style of beer, but I realise I've been slightly, um, my reviews have slightly been lacking anything from Scotland and, you know, um, not to disappoint, I've tried to pick up some uh, some Scottish beers. This one was in my local Morrison's, so, you know, I had to get it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'd be interested to try it. Um, craft brewed in Scotland, it says. It's 4.2% ABV. Um, brown 500ml bottle. Nice little crown on the top there. Harveston Brewery. With a little mouse. Harveston mouse. Um, let me have a look. Let's crack it open. A bit of smoke on the opening. A fair bit of smoke on the opening. Lovely. <coughs> Here we go. Not much of a head coming out on it. Um, I don't think it's bottle condition. No, it's not. Um, supermarkets don't tend to do many bottle condition beers. Golden in colour, minimal amount of carbonation in there, minimal head, just off white, few little bubbles floating on the surface. Conditioning wise, looks pretty good. Let's get the nose in. Oh, wow! Do you know what? That's got some massive similarities with um, a lot of the Thomas Watkin beers, well, all of the Thomas Watkin beers, smells very similar. It's got sort of like that, um, it's like that um, sort of grassy, sort of sweet aroma, which I, I, I don't know, if you've seen my, my reviews before, you know that I absolutely love Thomas Watkin Brewery, and, and, and that is a lovely smell. It does, I did notice on the bottle, it does say spicy, uh, but I can't, I can't really get a spicy aroma, I got, it's like a fruity aroma. S slight sweet, I'm stirring up a bit of a head in it now. But it's mainly that, <clears throat> um, sort of grassy sort of, uh, sweet maltiness which smells absolutely fantastic i'm going to dig in because i really like the taste of the smell of this now if it tastes if it smells as good as it tastes tastes as good as it smells i'm still tired by the way cheers mm. oh that is really refreshing. I have had this in the fridge because it did say serve cold. Um, so I, I, I've had it in the fridge and I took it out about 20 minutes ago. It's warmed up to room temperature, but I'm slightly, still slightly a bit chilled. Although I think I've lost a bit of the flavor in there. I am getting a bit of that spiciness now on the tongue. Slight bit of bitterness in there. Um, and you get a nice sort of hoppy, slight hoppy bitterness on the aftertaste. It's a little bit cold for me. Makes my teeth sort of <laughs> feel it in my teeth. I actually, I like that. Um, tell you what, I'll chuck the rest in, let it settle. And I'll read the bottle. The blonde beers I've had before have just been a bit too, um, pardon me, carbonated. That is quite carbonated, but it's very acceptable. In the early days of Bitter and Twisted, in the early days, Bitter and Twisted was brewed with a frac, fractitious, a fractious mouse for company. 
This testy rodent became the brewer's inspiration. Harvey is now a mascot. Also, the little mouse is their mascot. In there, that little mouse. Fair play. Um, B and T has a superb hot profile. It combines aromatic Hallertau Hus Husbrucker with spicy Challenger, finished by with late hopping with Styrian Goldings, which give a very distinctive citrus sharpness. I think I've killed that by having it too cold. Four hop varieties. Hallertau Hersbrucker. That's obviously a German, like a lagery type mob, I presume. Um, Like all Harveston beers, B and T has won awards at home and abroad. We bottle with less carbon dioxide, which is why our beers taste more natural. Yeah, fair play. For splendid refreshment, enjoy cold, bitter and twisted, like it, like that, like the twist of a lemon. Harveston Brewery, Hillfoots Village, Scotland. www.harveston.com. Harveston is obviously spelt like that, although you can read that from my description on there video up there. Um, yeah, 500 mil, 4.2% EBV. Great Taste Gold Award 2009. WB World Beers Award, best, World's Best Ale, fair play, 2007. Can't fault that, can you? But it is a very interesting, but yet massively sessionable beer. You can, it does, it has got that from the from the Herzbrucker. <coughs> I think I said that right. Um, German hop. Correct me if I'm wrong. Comments in the comments box. You can get that sort of real, or I'm getting that sort of lagery sort of flavour from it now. The bitterness, but it tastes like a really good lager. But I think that's why I'm not too keen on um, blonde beers because I think a lot of them do have lager hops in. Um, like I say, I never claim to be a beer expert, I just like drinking this stuff and I pick up what I can along the way. Um, but from what I guess, what I, what I hear, blonde beers are a little bit lagerish, um, and, and, and I'm not that keen on lager, but this is really good. I would definitely get this again. That's gonna get, that's getting a seven out of 10 from me. I, I, I like that, it's a really nice beer. Um, thanks for watching. Love to see your comments in the comments box. Please correct me on all my mistakes because I know I've done loads of them in this review. And um, I'd love to see you again on another review. Cheers.